it's week five of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Bills and the Texans, and it's coming up next. About ready to get this one started. Amy Fairbairn ready to kick it off. And off we go from Houston. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. So out come the Bills and the face of the franchise. 28-year-old Josh Allen. Year seven already with Buffalo. Last four years, over 4,000 passing yards in each. The man who makes this team go. You just hope throughout your career, Mike, that you're not on the wrong end of too many games like last week. So many games in the NFL come down to one score. They're very close. And every once in a while, they're multiple score games where you just can't seem to keep it close. They've got to do a better job keeping pace early. Get off to a faster start. They want to have a chance. Come the fourth quarter, if this thing's within one score, they're going to feel a lot more comfortable this time around than where they were last week. This one caught by Khalil Shakir. Good result there after the penalty. They get the yardage back and then some. They'll come up now for second down and four. In motion, Shakir. And nothing doing on that run. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. We have an early third down coming up. Slot man in motion left. Allen on third down. That's taken in by Shakir. And he's going to have the first down taken down after a short pickup of five. But it will keep the drive going. To throw again. It's Allen. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate through the passing game. They've essentially ignored the ground game up until this point. you got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been their passing game to get this game started, and that last one results in a first down. So after back-to-back -back incompletions, it is now third and ten. In motion, Shakir. On third down, it's Allen. Pass complete right side to Kincaid. On fourth down, honest Sam Martin to punt. A fair catch taken, and they're going to start right at their own 20-yard line. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. That's complete. It's Tank Dell. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in. And that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. That's to the big ticket acquisition. Stephon Diggs. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. Akers. And that should be enough. He works his way forward to pick up a first down. running is Akers. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll run here with Akers. 
Hillage forward for maybe a yard. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. Third down, three to go. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll let this go towards the end zone. Fourth down, and on comes Kaimi Fairbairn for the Houston field goal. This from 40 yards out. Fairbairn's kick is good. And the Texans are out to an early 3-0 lead. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. On the return, it's Ty Johnson. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bills offense ready to get going with their second possession. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides. As this drive kicks off with first and ten. That's to the left side where he's got Kincaid. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. They'll motion over Samuel. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. From the shotgun, it's Allen. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Keon Coleman, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. On play action, Allen gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. First and ten. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. Again, it's Allen to the air. That's to the rookie from Florida State, Keon Coleman. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Throwing again, it's Allen. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. going to throw again he gets this complete to Shakir so a big third down hookup takes us to the break it's the Texans who have the early lead and more from Houston coming up in a moment now a first and ten from the 38 yard line the tight end Kincaid in motion one more time going up top with Allen. He's got his tight end, Kincaid. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. On second down, Allen. That's to the left side and taken in by Coleman. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. He'll try and run here with Cook. And they bring him down at the 23, but that will do just fine. Move the chains. First down picked up. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. On first down, it's Allen. That is hauled in at the five. And he's going to be taken down. And this is the blueprint, Mike. The ability to sustain and maintain possession and methodically move the ball down the field in the process. They've been in complete control. They've been able to dictate what they want to do offensively and make the defense react. The defense has had no answers up until this point. And now the next step is, can they come away with six? Because anything less than that, after this long drive, would be a bit of a letdown. That is caught, 
And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. Now, Allen. A short throw caught by Kincaid. And he'll take it on in. Dalton Kincaid. Touchdown, Buffalo. It's his fourth touchdown on the year. Tyler Bass now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bills move out to a 7-3 lead. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. The return starts from the five. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. On first down, it's Stroud. He'll spot his big tight end. That's Dalton Schultz. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain, and in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. A second down throw for Stroud. He'll throw complete to Cam Akers. Call it a gain of 13. It's good for a Texans first down. Now some movement up front. Flags down. Mistake filled first half continues. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That's into the hands of Dell on the right side. Nice gain on first down, but the penalty flags Holding. come okay. in. And the question now, will the play stand? That's on the veteran Shaq Mason. Now, Stroud. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Stroud going to set up to throw. That one broken up. It's incomplete. All over him down the field. It'll set up third down. To throw is Stroud. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. So a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. They pick up a nice chunk play there through the air on third down, but it's not quite enough to move the chains. Now the question is, how aggressive is this head coach willing to be as he tries to extend this drive? And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. The Bills' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. Before this next drive gets started, I want to tell you what's coming up in primetime here in Week 5. First week of October. Starts tonight with Sunday Night Football. Memories of the 70s are sure to come to mind as the Cowboys and Steelers meet. It's in Pittsburgh at 8.20 Eastern. Followed tomorrow by Monday Night Football. It's the Saints against the champion Chiefs at Arrowhead. From the gun, it's Allen. That's taken in by Shakir. And he'll be taken down just shy of the 30. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. The tight end, Kincaid, in motion. Play clock has expired. We're not going to get this one off on top. To throw is Allen. And that ball incomplete over the middle. You talk about a quarterback getting bailed out. 
Man, that is a pick all day long. And as this defender enters the huddle, you see a bunch of his guys hitting him on the helmet. But I could promise you they're saying, next time, you got to come down with that one. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there as he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. To throw again, it's Allen. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. They try again, it's second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Allen. He runs with it. Quarterback does a nice job here, sensing the pressure pretty quickly. Realizes he doesn't have a ton of time to operate from within the pocket decides to tuck the ball and rely on his legs, he's able to pick up a positive play. On third and one, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. Back in the day, Mike, you know how they decided who played offense and who played defense? The guys who caught the ball better played offense and the guys who couldn't play defense. And now, that's obviously not the case anymore. But this is one of those that still gives defensive players a bad rap. And he's going to have the Bills, and he is going to have the Chargers. They'll motion over Samuel. They'll throw on first down with Allen. Down inside the 10. And he will get into the end zone. Curtis Samuel. Touchdown, Bills. We're seeing this so much all across the NFL, Mike, is the value placed on a receiver being able to turn into a runner after they're able to secure the catch. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But if you want to survive in this league as a wide receiver, you have to be able to make plays like this after the catch. And great job there by the quarterback being accurate. And great job by the receiver running after he makes the catch. They're trying to pin him deep. They'll take this from the three. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They trail now 14-3, to three, so an 11-point deficit as they start things out with first and 10. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And a good job rallying to the football. Hold him just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. From the gun, here's Stroud. He's got his man complete to Dell. Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second. They get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to play in this first half. He'll dump this down to Akers. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Now he takes off. Ten yards on the scramble there. And he picks up the first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there, and it'll lead to a second down. To throw, it's Stroud. That's into the hands of Aker. And the offense will elect to burn a timeout. Five seconds remaining in this second quarter. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. 
This will be from 47 yards. Three for three in the game as this one is also good. And the Texans cut the lead to four. It's 10 to six. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills on top. As we'll head over to Orlando. Standing by there for the weary. Let's get right back to it. Quarter number three set to begin. This returnable from the four. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Texans offense and their running back set to go once more. And he has been the focal point of this offense. When you get a performance like this, you can almost invariably know the offensive line's been stellar, and they have been so far. And he'll bring this to about the 25. Terrell Bernard, they're on the tackle. Second down and eight. Throwing is Stroud. Checking it down. This one is caught. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. Now a third and two. On the ground, it's Akers. The Texans getting all set to punt as he'll punt it away for the second time. Taken at the 19. And he'll get forward a few yards on the return. And that's where the offense will take over. So Allen and the Bills getting set for their next possession. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout, and will try to sustain it here down the stretch. They'll motion over Samuel. On the ground, it's Cook to start this drive. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Once again, it's Cook. And he'll have a first down as he gets this up close to the 40-yard line. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. They'll try again here. Second and ten. So now they'll throw it with Allen. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. I feel like we see this so often, Mike, especially with how good these receivers are after the catch. They're so eager to pick up that extra yardage. Sometimes they don't completely put the ball away, and with how good these defenders are at knocking it loose, pretty fortunate on that one. His teammate was there to prevent that from being a turnover. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. The Bills bringing on their punting unit. He's on for the second time. They'll try to get something inside the 10. Texans offense headed back to take over once more. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. Here's Stroud. Open man downfield. It's Nico Collins. A great connection there. They're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. 
Mike, what we're seeing play out across the NFL is that if offensively it requires you to go the length of the field in a long, methodical drive, your chances of coming away with points continue to go down the more you snap the ball. You have to be able to generate shot plays, pick up big, explosive chunks, because when you do, your ability to score points typically tends to follow. That's over the middle and caught by Dell. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Touchdown, Houston. Stroud comes to the line. The Texans going for two. He'll look to throw. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. That decision to go for two was made up from the very beginning. The moment they scored, you could see the head coach. He's signaling, we're going for two. The touchdown was obviously a disappointing outcome defensively, but to able to get that stop, they can at least come off the field and catch their breath. The Bills offense, and Josh Allen headed back onto the field, and he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now, they're trying to keep it going. Pass complete right side to Kincaid. And after the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. In motion, Shakir. Out of the gun, here's Allen. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Third and a yard. On third down, they go with Cook. Inside the 35. The speed on display. He's in. James Cook. Touchdown, Buffalo. The extra point by Bass is good. And the Bills will make it a two-score game as they are now up nine. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. This will be returned from the six. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Texans offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. They trail here by a couple of scores. The margin is not as this drive starts with first down. Stroud. A throw caught by Dell on the outside. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. Toward the sideline, that's caught by Dell. Back-to-back -back targets, back-to-back -back completions. That one for 16 and the first down. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. Here's second and six. Throwing from the pistol, Stroud. A short throw pulled in by Schultz. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. He is in. Touchdown, Texans. That is second touchdown of the afternoon. 
Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Johnson now to return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Cook. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and six. Allen, gonna give it to Cook. And he's gonna be taken down right at midfield. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. On first and ten, it's Allen. Looking middle, he's got to complete to Coleman. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll motion over Samuel. On second down, Cook. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. They send him right out of the slot. Allen on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Allen. He's got his man. That's Kincaid. And this is going to work out. They get the first down. It was fourth and four. A little risk, but it pays off. They'll motion over Samuel. Off the play fake. Here's Allen. Back to the left side and taken in by Coleman. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. A good spot here, second and a yard. Allen going to throw again. They go right back to Coleman. He's got it again. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything, because right now... That one, take it in! Curtis Samuel! Touchdown, Bills! Now remember, all Previous scoring plays are reviewed. reviewed. Tight game, tight call. They're going to take a good long look at this one. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Following the touchdown, Bass is back to kick it off. Here comes a return from the five. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, 
on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. Timing and trust, critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. A throw left side, gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Rasul Douglas. And his offense is gonna be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll motion over Samuel. Now Allen on first down. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. That is a gain of 22, and it sets up first down and goal. Josh Allen on the bootleg. That is caught by the tight end. Dawson Knox, touchdown Buffalo. Allen leading the Bills to the line for this two-point try. Blitz coming. He'll throw it. This is caught. He's got it. And they tack two more onto their lead. Mike, I think all of us can remember exactly where we were during a certain Super Bowl where throwing the ball this close to the goal line ended up being a disaster. But unlike that time, they ran this pass play to perfection, and the result, two points. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Texans offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. They'll come to the line now on second and two. From the gun, here's Stroud. That's into the hands of Dell on the right side. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Trying the right side, taken in by Collins. They'll work now on second and four. In trouble, and down he goes. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. That's over the middle and caught by Collins. The offense staying out there for this fourth down. That's taken in, and he's going to have a Texans first down. They find a way to convert on fourth and ten. He'll go right back to Diggs. He's got it again. Here's a second and nine. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That is brought in at the 10. And he's going to be brought down. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Touchdown, Houston. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Texans are able to cut the deficit to 10. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. He's inside the 40. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. A gain of four as he's taken down. The Texans going to go ahead and use their first time out here, and they'll get together prior to the second down play. Here comes the rookie fourth rounder out of Kentucky, Ray Davis. 
Here's a timeout, Houston. That's their second. We'll talk things over before third down. They'll drop to throw. And this ball incomplete on third down. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. Passes kick is good. And the Bills add on to their lead. So after the made field goal, Bass is back out there to kick it away. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense and C.J. Stroud ready to get to work once more. And you get a look at the numbers, they don't even tell the whole story. This has been a tremendous performance to this point. Stroud to throw here on first and ten. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He'll try again here. It's second and ten. To throw is Stroud. Now a deep ball here for Collins. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Stroud to throw here on first down. That one caught by Tank Dell. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. A uh, first down throw there is incomplete. They'll come up now for second down. Throwing is Stroud. Ah, the pressure too much, and he goes down. Texans going to use the last of their timeouts here. And it comes with 36 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Off-balance throw. It's complete. Pretty good effort on that one. It will not be enough. It's going to bring up fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.